Hi, well, my name's Neil Baker. Um, I am from Sydney, Australia, and I study physics and piano performance. I'm a dual degree student at BU. What physics gives me that I transfer into music is actually sort of discipline. And I use problem solving, the sort of problem solving strategies that I would use in, in physics um, in the, you know, the practice room, for instance, if I'm trying to work on a new piece and it's not coming out right, I'll, I'll sort of think about how I could, um, how I could approach it differently or, um, how I could make it sound, what I want to achieve and, um, sort of approach it from a more problem solving perspective. And I think that helps. Okay. So music director have, has a lot of responsibilities. Um, I don't know if it's the, the most taxing in terms of time, but, um, what I do is basically my, my primary function is to run rehearsals. I would say that's what I spend most of the time doing. Um, and that's basically just, I teach music and I, I sort of comment on, uh, comment on the group's performance and how I think they could improve. It is very difficult sometimes to keep people in check, uh, behavior wise. <coughs> and I've, I've sort of developed a strategy for it over the year, uh, like <laughs> over the years, <laughs> um, over the, the, you know, a bit of experience that I've had teaching, teaching guys. Um, you know, it helps that they're all interested in it, interested in learning. So at the end of the day, you know, they are, they are there to rehearse, but it can be really hard, particularly because so many of our members are, are very, very close friends with each other. And so, you know, when, when a joke hits or whatever, it can be very hard to calm people down. But, um, you know, I think it, behavior management is definitely one of the, one of the parts of the job. You know, it's, it's not a problem to sit there for 30 seconds while people sort of finish chatting and, and, you know, have a chance to calm down. And then, you know, once they do that, it can be, uh, you know, instead of ripping them away from whatever positive experience they were enjoying, um, you know, it can lead to more, more focused rehearsals in the next, you know, for the next half an hour if people, you know, you really let people settle. Okay, and now we're going into it. Now it's focus time. And, you know, we, we have lots of examples of, you know, just raucous behavior, but we also have lots of examples of, of really focused, detailed, hard work. And, and um, you know, that's a... That's a compromise I'm happy to make. Here Abbeys are a group of currently 14 guys um, and we sing a cappella music, we sing on campus, on campus events, we sing with other groups. We also sing off campus. Um, at high schools, at various a cappella events. We've competed <coughs> uh, <clears throat> on numerous occasions in multiple uh, competitions throughout the year. And we also host our own shows for the BU community. We host them at uh, BU location, performance locations around campus. Um, you know, we're, we're an active member of the community and, and uh, yeah, I think we're decently well known. Everyone likes us and yeah. So we rehearse three times a week. You know, we learn music from uh, pop music to sort of like Frank Sinatra, like jazz and that sort of stuff. We really have <coughs> have no limits on what we sing apart from, uh, I think in our constitution it says no show tunes. I think that's the only thing, <laughs> unfortunately. I think being an all-male group, we can really showcase though the, the, lower, um, the lower sound that even co-ed groups really don't get to focus on as much. Um, because, you know, if they did, they'd be leaving their girls out to dry, so... Um, they wouldn't want to do that, but we have the, the unique opportunity, I think, to to showcase that lower range and to really show what the male boys can do. And I I, um, I love that like really rich baritone quality that a lot of our singers have. It just makes for a, a really uh, filled out sound, a really rich, filled out, you know, deep sound. And um, you know, it's something I'll never get tired of. So I think certainly um, living in Australia, I was very. Uh, I mean, I, I wasn't even as nervous as some some people, I think, but I was certainly eager to make friends and, you know, the accent doesn't hurt. But um, I also think that I would be very much lo more lonely if I had not joined the Abbeys because I think um, some of the, the most, the closest friends I've made have been here and, and I know that almost everyone in the group probably will be a lifelong friend. Um, and so that's, you know, that's something you can't get a lot of places. And I think the fact, I, I've always thought that the, the fact that we, that we bond together over something rather than, you know, it's not, it's not a frat in the sense that, you know, sure, we're, we're a group of guys, but 
you know, there are lots of groups of guys. What makes us special? Well, we, we bond over the music. Um, and, and that, I think, makes us closer um, than, you know, than any fraternity. And, Why don't you come on?